We're now going to have a look at the SPSS viewer window. This is uh, the window in which all the output from any analysis that we do appears. So just as an example, I've got two bits of output here. The first is uh, you can see the results of a statistical analysis. Now I've done a t-test and if you don't know what t-test is yet then don't worry. But the main thing to note is just that SPSS produces various tables and these have uh, you know, numbers in that we can interpret as we learn about these tests. Also in this output I've drawn a graph just to show you that as well as having uh, you know, the results of statistical analysis you also get the results of any graphs that you draw in this window. So, uh, and they kind of just sit side by side. Now, on the left-hand side, there's a navigator pane, and this allows you to skip between bits of output. So, for example, if we want to go straight to our graph, we can just click on graph, and we'll skip straight to it. Or we can go back to our t-test by clicking on the t-test bit. So it just allows us to hop around. Now, at the moment, there's only two things in our output viewer, so. Uh, you know, this, this is not saving us a lot of time but if we had you know 20 or 30 different analyses in in our output viewer then you can hopefully see that this you know it'd be quite useful to just be able to skip from one test to another another thing you'll notice in the more recent versions of SPSS is whenever you do a statistical procedure it will save the syntax now any of you who saw the uh, the movie about syntax um, well, this will be familiar to you, this t-test syntax. And SPSS pastes it in to the output viewer, which can kind of be quite useful to see what you've done, uh, but it can also take up quite a lot of room, as in this case, this is uh, syntax for drawing a graph, and there's absolutely tons of it that you probably don't really want to read. So you can actually hide these. Now, useful thing to do, if you go to the edit menu, you can uh, go to the select, and then select all logs these are known as logs these little bits of syntax so by selecting all of them you can see they're all now highlighted on the left and this button here will hide them the one that looks like a closed book and therefore we don't have to look at them anymore they're still there but they're just hidden from view that also means output um, we, we won't get that text printed which uh, can be a good thing the other thing uh, with respect to printing is using this navigator bar allows us to select specific things that we might want to print. So if you've got a big, big output file but you only want to print, for example, this graph, then if you select the graph, notice it's all highlighted in blue, uh, then you can you can opt to, to print only that graph. You can do much the same by just selecting the graph in the output. Again, if we printed now, we could choose to print only what we've selected. A couple of other useful things. Uh, first of all, we can edit these bits of text. So if we double click here, uh, we can change this to, say, to, to tell us what the t-test was comparing. It's t-test to compare number of friends in lecturers and students. Uh, annotating your output like this can be quite useful to remind yourself what you did. You can also put little notes in. So, uh, for example, if we highlight this table and this button here allows us to put text in. And we can add a text box. You can see it's appeared here. And we could put, we could type, for example, an interpretation. So, the results of the T test showed that students had significantly more friends than lecturers. Again, that can be quite a useful thing to do. I think especially when you're first starting with SPSS, uh, annotating your outputs can, uh, can kind of help you to remember uh, you know, what everything means. Um, the other thing is you can edit stuff. Uh, so if you double click on a table, for example, it will appear in a separate window and you can edit bits of it. Now I, well, I sometimes find this useful, especially if I'm uh, you know, helping a student to analyze data, I sometimes highlight bits of the output that are kind of quite important for them to look at. So we can select cells in this table, uh, but we can select many cells in the table. And if we click with the right hand button of our mouse and select cell properties, then we can change uh, how this cell looks. So for example, we might want to change the background. We can select background, change it to a sort of highlighted color 
click on OK and now those cells in the table are highlighted. So we can use that to draw our attention or, or draw other people's attention to bits of the output that are you know, particularly important. Now, as we go through various uh, statistical techniques, we'll, we'll look at how you can you know, do other things uh, as far as editing tables go. But that's just a, well, basically to show you that you can. Likewise, if we double click on this graph, we can edit bits of the graph. It appears again in a, a chart editor window we'll see uh, in the graphing chapter that there's all sorts of things that you can change but for example just to give you a, a quick demonstration if we select select uh, the bars here they become highlighted in blue at the moment they're filled with this kind of you know, revolting bile color uh, so we could click on fill and we could you know change them to a nice blue for example I like blue and there you go so, the SPSS viewer window, you get all your output, tables from statistical analysis or graphs that you've done. You can navigate around it using the left hand pane and just I would just go around double clicking on stuff and uh, you know having a play around seeing what you can do. You can change fonts, you can uh, you know highlight things, you can change your graphs, uh, just have a play with it.